So let's draw another iterated fractal. In this case, my initiator is a line segment and my generator has this Y shape. But we're going to restrict ourselves and only iterate on the branches, in other words, these Y pieces at the top. So our step 1 looks like this. Uh, in our step 2, each of these line segments is going to get replaced with a line segment with uh, two little branches at the top. With It's going to be replaced with a Y. And then in our step 3, sorry, step 2, no, eh, step 1, step 2, this was step 2. Sorry, in step 3, the each, again, of the branches is going to get replaced with one of these little Y's. And then in step 4, each of these little lines is going to get replaced with one of these little, oops, one of these little branchings. And this process, again, could be continued over and over again. And if we did, the result would look something like this, uh, which you can see is very tree-shaped in its behavior. In fact, if we were to add a little bit of randomization and a little bit of curving in here, you can generate really interesting-looking tree shapes um, using these patterns. And this is very commonly done uh, for computer graphics when p they're trying to generate tree shapes. You'll also notice a simil similar behavior here in this fern shape, where again, you have that self-similarity, where each of these pieces essentially looks like the whole. Uh, and so you have this same iterated behavior here uh, for the, uh, for these types of shapes. Now let's look at a different type. Uh, and so this is a, um, we're going to create a variation on the Sierpinski gasket, uh, but we're going to add a little bit of randomness in here. So in the normal gasket, remember we started with a triangle, uh, and then we removed the middle portion. But what we're going to do this time is we're going to take each of these corner points and we're going to skew it uh, a little bit. So after um, that first step, for example, we might skew this point up a ways and this point down a ways. I didn't move that one too far, uh, but we end up with this shape here. And then we could repeat this again. So again, we divide up each of these remaining triangles and then skew the, the resulting points. And so, for example, we might end up with something like... So that's this one skewed a bit, and then maybe... That's this one skewed a bit, and then... Then that one skewed a bit. Eh, there, there we are. Uh, and, and so at each step, we add a little bit of randomness, and in doing so, it creates uh, sort of a, a almost naturalistic behavior. And in fact, uh, this exact pattern is how, or this approach is how uh, shapes like this are created. This is an artificially created landscape that was created uh, using a randomized uh, repeating process like we were just doing with this, what's called a twisted Sierpinski gasket.